Certainly there's lots of animosity left over from the First World War. The, the Versailles Treaty, certainly like the war guilt clause and reparations and things like that, bred some resentment in Germany. When you throw in the Great Depression, they're looking for people like a lot of places were, who, who can get us out of this? And Hitler's seems to be offering something. The first large group of American captures comes from North Africa. Tensions were quite high. There were several camps in which the Nazis, a Nazi element in the camp, seemed to control the inner workings of the camp. The non-commissioned officers began holding a demonstration. They refused to disperse. It took a, a quick reaction force of guards armed with Tommy guns and billy clubs to convince them that they needed to break up their demonstration. How do you distinguish a Nazi from somebody who simply is maintaining loyalty to the army that he serves? Some of them were diehard Nazis. Others just were reluctant to take a side. Those that voiced opposition against the German cause were dealt with harshly by their fellow prisoners. But they were would intimidate and try prisoners for treason and sometimes found them guilty and then beat them, sometimes beat them to death. 